Hey everybody, it's Sand. So, some of you may have seen earlier today the announcement for Gundam Breaker 4 um, and the trailer for it. I'm having it play really briefly up here. I don't want to show too much because I don't want to get hit with, you know, any kind of claims or whatnot. As much as I'm friends with Bandai, it's happened. Anyways, I just wanted to make this video quickly to, I guess more or less just discuss kind of the trailer, the game, and whatnot. Uh, someone had previously asked, you know, like, why didn't I do anything for the initial announcement or whatnot? And it's really... I like waiting, for one, waiting until there's actual, like, tangible information beyond just an announcement. Um, and I also try to avoid making, you know, little videos for every single thing that happens. I just felt like this release trailer was, like, there's actually a lot of substance to it. So, yeah, it's kind of kind of where we're at. So I will just briefly kind of touch on it here. Um, for one, I really like that they had the um, SD Gundams finally kind of like kit bashable with bigger stuff. Because um, before, um, with Gundam Breaker 3, you could only really uh, use SD Gundams as like a whole. You can use them as like individual things. Um, so I like that whole, that aspect they're bringing to it, and you can, like, resize parts and whatnot. Um, I think that's really cool. I like the color palettes they're bringing in. Um, I wish there was... Well, okay, I can't I can't really say I wish there was because I'm not 100% sure of all the details, and I won't be until I actually have the thing in my hands. Um, but I was hoping for kind of closer to what GBM had, but... I guess it's kind of the same thing at the end of the day where you unlock the color palette channels as you unlock mobile suits. At least that's what I'm assuming. Uh, maybe get them all off the rip regardless. Um, I found that neat. Uh, pretty easy to customize. Lots of customization options. Now, I know there's been a lot of complaints like, oh, you know, why doesn't it have all the mobile suits that GBM had and, you know, other stuff. And I, I get the complaints. Believe me, I, I can understand. But... Let's, let's all be real, the models that were in GBM were a lot less detailed than what they're going to be using in GB4. So while they have the general skeletons there, they still need to do a lot of work into touch-ups, making the animations better, and a lot of other things that'll go into it. So yeah, I, I can understand the complaints, but when you look at everything else that they've done, I don't know, I feel like... Because you have to remember, uh, and I'm saying this as someone that played GBM, and I, I, I don't want to stay on the GBM tangent for too long, but I feel like it has to be said. GBM started with a okay pool of mobile suits, but the only reason that it got so colossally huge was because we got, like, every single week, three mobile suits. And that ran for a year and a half, right? And that's that's a big deal. That's, that's a lot of content. Um, then it down to I think it was like one or two mobile suits after that every week. Uh, once the the big crunch happened, but so much content was added over time, and I feel like just assuming a new game to have all of that available off the rip is setting that bar a little high. I hope that they are timely with adding more stuff though so we'll see that's something that comes after launch right like i'm gonna i'm gonna be patient with that i'm gonna hopefully see where that ends up um but yeah i i think that's really important to to know um but yeah off off the off the gbm topic the sd stuff's really cool i like the color channels um the stuff that we get kind of <sighs> Like, there's different versions available, as is kind of the standard these days when it comes to uh, comes to gaming. And, you know, uh, I guess I can live with that. Um, I don't know how I feel about season passes, though. We'll see again. It's, it all comes down to a case like we'll see when the game actually comes out, if any of this is worth it or not. Um, and the pre-order bonus, at least, is something very cosmetic. So, you know what? I, I can think of a lot worse that they could have done with, uh, with like, pre-order bonuses and stuff like that. So, um, yeah. 
I'm not I'm not too sure about the new mobile suits because we had what we had Ariel, Daryl Ball, uh, Z Gundam, however you pronounce that one, Helios, and then the statue version of the new. Um, and those are cool. It, it covers a, a wide range of stuff that people would be interested in, stuff from the newer TV series, uh, stuff from the newer movies, um, and newer games and whatnot. Um, so I, I think that's a healthy spread. I hope that they add more, uh, obviously. Um, and again, we'll see where that goes. I feel like that's this is kind of why I, I don't like making these types of videos is because like almost everything I want to talk about has boiled down to like, we'll see when the game actually releases. And that's... It's just really hard to just kind of discuss and talk about it when so much is up in the air regarding the game itself. So far, though, I was impressed with the trailer. The game looked like a lot of fun, and I'm glad I don't have to travel to a convention to buy an imported version this time like I had to do with Gundam Breaker 3. <laughs> Small blessings. <laughs> um, yeah, I think really beyond that, uh, there's not like a ton I want to talk about with the game. It looks exciting. It's on a lot of platforms. I'm glad that it's on Steam. Thank God. Um, and really beyond that, like my only real hope for GB4 looking at it is they don't go kind of full tilt into locking gunpla behind straight paywalls it looks like that might be the case with the seasons pass thing where it's going to unlock mission packs which have new gunpla in each of them um and i can only hope that they do something kind of like a like a battle pass or something that allows players to earn these things for free over time because when you start hard paywalling suits, eh. I think the worst part is when it's like one suit you really, really want, and then the rest of it is stuff you don't have any interest in, but you still have to pay, you know, like 15, 20 bucks to get access to it. I don't I'm I'm not like the biggest fan of that, but it comes down to the pricing. It comes down to, you know, how accessible is it if you don't pay? Again, looping back to we're not going to know until it's in our hands. And I hate it so much because I I want to I want to be super ultra like positive with this because Gundam Breaker 3 was such a good experience for me. But after new Gundam Breaker, um, I don't know. I just want to temper my expectations a little bit. But you know, fingers crossed. I'm hoping it looks good. I like what's there. I'm really happy with just kind of the way it looks i know of course you know it's not a super groundbreaking you know really high intensity graphic title or anything but for gundam breaker it looks really good so i think that's that's also important to you know to just kind of sit on yeah and that's pretty much it i just i wanted to talk about that trailer um I, if you watch the English dub, you got a very energetic fellow. Um, <laughs> yeah. Um, in the description for this video, if you haven't watched the trailer yet, um, I'll have a link to the official video that they have on their channel. Um, yeah, and beyond that, I'm just excited to see where this game goes. I'm excited to see when we finally get our hands on it and can try it um like me anyways because i know that uh i'm pretty it was the one that had the cbt wasn't it a while back and it was like playstation only in very small windows and only overseas i hope they open that a little bit i i, I do want to try it before it releases um same with eternal wherever that disappeared too gosh um yeah, so I'll wrap up here. I don't want to drag on for too long. I've talked about pretty much everything I wanted to. Um, yeah, as we get closer to the release date, as we get more information, I'll look at doing another video talking about it. Um, I'm I'm just really excited for it. I'm looking forward to playing it. And I hope you guys are too, because even though GBM closed down and died, 
the Gundam Breaker series is still obviously going strong. And I really, really hope that if GB4 does well, they'll look at maybe something like a GBM2 or something kind of similar. Because I think with a slightly different angle approach to how the monetization model worked, they could have had that game go for a lot longer, especially if it wasn't so heavily focused on the power creep and stuff, but neither here nor there. Anyways, I'll stop rambling. Thanks for watching, guys. I'm sorry I haven't been doing content at all. Um, just some stuff with real life. Haven't really been able to set aside a ton of time to do streaming content. Um, and I'll just, I'll do what I can. But um, yeah, peace out. And... I'll see you guys all in the next one.